YouTube, what is going on, you guys, man? How you guys doing out there, man? Hope everyone's staying safe. So, yeah, I just wanted to come and uh, do this video here. As you saw in the intro clips there, every time we, you know, you pop the trunk. And it, that's as far as it goes, right? So, I don't know about you guys, but to me, holy crap, that is so annoying. Right, because you have to come up and prop it open. And then, you know, of course, if you're carrying, you know, some bags and stuff like that, you know, both your hands are, are uh, you know, carrying stuff. You know, you got to set stuff down and then, you know, open it. It's just a hassle anyway. As you know, there is a fix for that. So we have got the Steeda. Um, and here's the number here. 555-0696. So these are the um, trunk pop kit, right? So this will help, hopefully, you know, alleviate that that nuisance, right? When you click the trunk and it just barely opens a little bit. So hopefully, you know, we'll, we can uh, install this and uh, get that, you know, fixed up. So how do we do it? So I was looking at these guys here and let me see if I can get a bit, a little better lighting on maybe on this side here. So as you can see here, you have those little notches there, right? On the top and on the bottom side. So it looks like, you know, if you get a screwdriver and I'm holding the phone here with one hand, so bear with me. It looks like if, you know, you uh, get a screwdriver in here to kind of prop it open, right? stick it in there prop it open and then you can just pull it out right and it's the same thing for both the top and the bottom side I'm not sure if I can kind of get in there on the bottom yeah there you go you see the um, see the notches down there so they're all exactly the same you just get your screwdriver in there and you know pop it out and then you can pull out the the um, struts there right so with that, I'm going to put this phone on a tripod here so I can get this going and I'll show you guys how I'm doing it. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I got the camera all set up here, uh, zoomed in a little bit and I got myself a smaller screwdriver because I think that one I was using earlier, it was a little too big. So just found something a little bit smaller to better fit inside the, inside in that little notch there that I showed you earlier. So if we put this guy in there and then kind of pull it out, and let me see if I can get that guy pulled out, and then see the whole thing just kind of pulls out, see that? So you stick it in that notch, pull it out, all right? So it's pretty easy. Let's see if we can do the top here. All right, you guys, so this is the top side here. And so same thing, you just wanna, you know, put it in that little notch inside and kind of pull it out. And then you can slide out the, the strut here, as you can see that. So very simple, very easy. Wow, this is gonna be awesome with the new one. So here we go, we got the new one. The Stita is here. See if I can expand this a little bit for you. All right, you guys, so we got it opened up here. As you can see, they look pretty much identical. Pretty much exactly the same thing, you guys. So obviously just the insides is what's different, a little more resistance on, on this guy. So they look pretty much exactly the same. So the same process, right? Um, well, you don't wanna mess with these guys, right? You just insert it. So for example, here on the top, you just pop it in like that, align it down here with the bottom one, pop it in and you're good to go. So it's easy as that, man. Very simple. All right, you guys, here we go, man. Let's see how it does. See that? Maybe that's a little too quick, actually. Let's try that again. Holy crap, yeah, that is pretty fast, you guys. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is, let's say, for example, if you're if you're gonna use the button down here, obviously you're gonna be close to the trunk lid, right? So I'm afraid this might 
be too quick to come up and pop you in the face. Oh, see that? So yeah, I'll just you'll just have to be super careful if you're gonna use the button underneath and you're close to the trunk lid. When you use that, just be careful because it does kind of come up a little bit too fast. But if you're using the fob, it's no problem at all, right? Because you're away from it, so see that? All right, you guys, so yeah, with that, we're just gonna leave this as is. It's still better than having to, you know, pull it up every time you prop it open, you know? Cool, man, hope you guys liked this video. It was a very simple install, and boy, is it really worth it. So, all right, you guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, man. Have a good one, man. Everyone stay safe out there. Peace.